guys and welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a recommendation from five female African authors from five different countries. I'm very happy to have realized when I was just, you know, floating through to remember which country was exactly from, um, where I was exactly in Africa. So five, I have one non-fiction which is a memory memoir, one historical fiction, one collection of short stories, and two novel. I'm very very happy with the diversity um, the format, I would say, and um, the voice are not, no, they're not similar. They're very different from one another, but it's still how this one, you know, big uh, thing, which is Africa and their new way of perceiving their country, the life and the dreams. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is Petina Gapa, an elegy for Easterly. This is a book from Zimbabwe and I love this collection of short stories. There is 12, the, oh my god, there is 12 stories within this collection and it is about um, broken dreams family tragic family history and bearing a woman a marriage life and the ex expectation versus reality and just being young in this um, country now i loved most of the story they were very different from one another although they had a very a clear um, theme which made a kind of continuation because sometimes it can be difficult in short stories either it seems to say me either you don't see like what is linking them in here it was perfect she has another book which i also i've read which is the book of memory which follows an albino woman who is in prison for having murdered a white father adopted father this i wouldn't exactly recommend it i enjoyed it but you were it lacked uh, strength and depth and I thought and I would have liked for her to go deeper but I still like the idea of having an albino woman um, voice and also touching the subject of homosexuality which are subject matter which aren't talked in Africa at all then the next book I'm going to recommend is a contemporary novel and it's Behold the Dreamers by Imbulo Mbul. This is a very recent read. I actually finished it last year, last year, last night. And this one comes from Cameroon. I, I am barely familiar with Cameroon because it is an ancient French colony. So we do have French, like people from Cameroon descendant or immigrant from there. And it is talked about Vaguely in France. In this one, we follow this one couple, Nini and Jende, who works with for the Clarks, like you no, know, the Edwards, um, a white couple, and their relationship. Um, it is about marriage, broken dreams, and what you're willing to do to pay to leave the perfect and. The perfect life and the one you dream for yourself and your family it was very beautiful simple and um straightforward and i love it was quite fast paced but not too fast paced and i liked very much how we got to have different um narrators because i always enjoy that um and also like that it was set in new york because it seems that i don't readings lately books which are linked in some way to New York, so yeah. The other book I'm going to recommend is from an author from Nigeria. She's very, very well known. Of course, it's Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, and the one I'm going to recommend is Americana. This I read two years ago and absolutely adored it. Americana is a name given to Nigerian people who go to America and then come back and tend to behave superior to the others not all of them but some of them so it's about um what nigerian things have to do now to succeed and come to america and being confronted with the reality 
It also talks about uh, contemporary Nigerian touches briefly about its history. It's also about Nigerian people going there and finding themselves black, which is something I never thought they were when they were in the country because all of that doesn't exist because most people are black. Well, I'm speaking in the um, area where most like people most most people are black, you know. Absolutely loved it. The writing is stunning. It's gorgeous. Her description are it's 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 perfect. Uh, I have read other other of other books by her. A collection a collection of short stories, as well as her nonfiction work. But this is the one that stood out the most for me. Then we have. The nonfiction Might Be Our Powers by Le Magmoui. I read this one last year and it is about this woman and she is from Liberia, which was created in the 18th by former or recently um, freed slave from America. And it is about her work in Africa for feminist work but it's just about basic human rights although she um, specifically fights for women's rights which is something which very it's very difficult to have in certain African countries and she won I think I believe a peace award for all of her work and this book was very it was fantastic because it touches upon because it's in fiction and of course it's taught from a very personal point of view hers hers but as the book is co-written with the journalist the um, historical event the cultural things uh, felt very factual and had, were kind of more solid and less how do you say they were more neutral than if it was only her telling the story uh, this is a it was my first time ever reading something from an author from Liberia It was my first time learning about this country and I very much enjoyed doing so it was very enlight enlightening and um, Informative and I will highly recommend it the last book I'm going to Recommend is historical fiction and it was a huge hit when it came out last year and of course it is Homegoing by Yajasi this is from, the author is from Ghana and it is historical fiction and I read it last year, gave it 5 out of 5 star, would highly recommend it. It is very short, 300 pages which is rather unusual. I am used to reading historical fiction, it is the first time, it is my first time reading something so short. So this is about, we follow two sisters and they're descended up until nowadays, it starts in the 17th century so it touches upon European slave trade and the heritage is going to give to the slave who are going to be sold either in America or the rest of the world so what I absolutely adored about this book it is one of my first time reading from an African point of view about the slave trade and its inheritance from an English speaking author so that was it for my recommendation video. If you have read any of this author, please tell me which of them you like the best. If not, I will really like you to check them out. And if you have names, drop them down below, please. Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video.